So about two weeks ago, I got an email from Google. Now that's pretty unusual for me. I don't normally get emails from Google, but they said, look, we're doing something really, really cool in Xmouth and I would love for you to come along. Now that sounded like an adventure to me. So how could I say no? So here we are. Good morning guys, it's another beautiful day in Exmouth. Admittedly, it is going to be a little bit windy today, which is a little bit problematic because we're heading out on a boat. Yep, that's right, we're heading out on a boat. And uh, let's head down to the boat ramp and I'll let you guys know what we're actually doing out there. So most of you guys have probably heard of Street View with Google Maps. Super handy feature. You can drop down to a street, have a look at a 360 image and pan around and look at everything. Super awesome. Now, a couple of years back, Google actually started taking underwater 360 degree images. Now, they've done quite a few on the East Coast, on the Great Barrier Reef and all around the world, but they've never done Ningaloo Reef here in WA. So today we're gonna to head out with a team of divers that actually takes the 360 degree underwater images. There's also gonna be a Channel 9 crew there, so I'm gonna have some competition and a couple of Google employees as well. So it's gonna be an awesome day out, can't wait. So yesterday at dinner, we were all trying to figure out how you actually pronounce the place that we're meeting today. So I might actually ask some of them just to see if they can actually do it. Hey Christine, Hello. could you just repeat one more time what the name of this place is? <laughs> no! <laughs> Tentabitty! Tentabitty! Tentabitty. <laughs> just say it fast. <laughs> so what do you guys think of my new vlogging camera, hey? Pretty nice. I never thought I'd be going snorkeling with Google, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, you didn't know this about this a week ago. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> It's nice that they let me know well in advance, you know, about 15 days or something, 12 days. That's good. <laughs> you guys work fast, eh? Better fast than slow. You guys ready to jump in the cold water or? Oh, it's gonna be cold. I'm excited. Ah, yes. like 20, <laughs> 22 degrees, woo! <laughs> That'll be good fun.
absolutely awesome first snorkel. Christine spotted a stingray, which was fantastic. And then we saw a turtle, which was just the icing on the cake, really. Awesome stuff. No that argument. Pretty, no argument. That was pretty much, <laughs> hey. That was awesome. Some turtles doing their thing. Some un under 32 is. And then depending on if the weather's hot or cold while they're incubating, just like the crocodiles, remember it's hot chicks and cool dudes. So if it's cold, they all end up blokes. If it's really hot weather, they all end up females. Second dive of the day. That's what I tell my customers, but they've got one leg stronger than the other and some of them just go like that and end up way out here where all the boats are coming into the moorings. I'm like, he's going to do it for sure. <laughs> So that was absolutely awesome. We got to see a couple of turtles, beautiful coral fish. It's an incredible part of the world, yeah. You, got, you guys got to come here if you can. So the biggest question I got for Google is when are all of these awesome pictures going to be available on Google Maps? Yeah, so we've got to process them all and they'll be ready in a few months. So, so probably tuned. around summertime. Yeah, about then. End of 2019, guys. If you can't get here, at least check it out under there because it is so awesome. So I gotta admit, I was pretty curious how they actually do the 360 degree images. As it turns out, just a tripod with some weights on it and a special underwater camera. And all they do is they just keep turning it, taking different photos, and then later on, they just have to merge it all together. But the results speak for themselves. I mean, right now, I'll put up some of the best ones that I've seen so far, and I can't wait till Ningaloo is released so I can check all of these ones out. So this is Christoph. He's done a lot of the images for Google. Now, Christoph's seen a lot of the world, right? You've dived in many, many places, seen a lot of wonderful things. What is your favorite diving destination ever? Ooh, that's a hard question. I mean, best question. coral, best fish. Okay, well, that's actually a good way to, um, to look at it. I would say my favorite moment or my best uh, moment underwater with, let's say, Big Pelagic was uh, Galapagos Island in a place called Wolf and Darwin rocks. So they're, they're very remote and there's aggregation of pretty much everything you can think of. Wow. Whale sharks, hammerhead sharks, everything. turtles, sharks of all kinds. It's incredible. Um, and in terms of coral, yep. uh, I must say 
Australia really? has a lot. Uh, a lot of good coral in Australia. A lot of good coral, despite obviously all the doom and gloom that we've yep. been talking about, I mean, which, is, which of, is reality. A lot right? of bleaching, isn't there? Lots but... of bleaching that happened in 216, 217, so yep. that's a reality. Uh, but despite that, there's still some incredible, incredible places in Australia, there you go. On the Red Bar Reef, and even here, you know, uh, where we are in Ningaloo. So if you live in Australia, you're in a good place for coral. You are. <laughs> All right, thanks, mate. Nice to meet you. Nice awesome to meet you, work. Mate. You do some beautiful images. Thanks, Keep mate. it up. Love your work. Thanks, mate. And uh, get online, guys, and enjoy it because this guy's a genius. <laughs> How can you guys actually check out these awesome underwater images? Well, one way is to download the Street View app onto your phone and then just do a search. Now, we can't go to Ningaloo Reef yet because it's not online, but we're gonna jump over to the Great Barrier Reef and check that out. So just scroll through until you see an image that stands out to you, tap into it, and without even getting your feet wet, you're exploring an awesome coral reef. How cool is that? You can even zoom in to see all the detail in the coral or check out all the fish that are hiding in the shadows. It's just amazing. The second way you can check it out is by jumping on your computer and just opening up Google Maps, go over to a reef and then grab your little Street View man and then just drop him on one of the blue dots and you'll enter the 360 degree image. Now this is the one that I showed you guys earlier and uh, it's just spectacular. It's Heron Island if you guys want to check it out. Another cool thing is that you can actually see who took this photo and it's Christoph who I just introduced you guys to just then. So I just wanted to say thank you for these two legends, for Google, for organising this and making it happen. Thank you so much guys, I'm sure the viewers enjoyed it just as much as I did and even you guys did. Massive thanks. Thank you, we loved having you with us. Oh, it was awesome You're guys. Awesome day. Alright guys, don't forget to get out there and... Seek, seek adventure! adventure!